can you run us through the rationale behind the acquisition of Cooper Tire and Rubber? Uh, how will this add value to Apollo's existing operations? Oh, well, as you've seen, uh, you know, the combination is going to add value in terms of uh, the geographical presence that we get into uh, the entire world. Uh, 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 we get 40% uh, low-cost uh, manufacturing uh, of the entire revenue. So let me just take a few seconds and uh, uh, explain to you the strategic rationale of the business. Uh, basically, you get uh, the total pie, 45% will contribute to North, uh, North America, 12% uh, contributes to Europe, and, and these two continents being the largest uh, markets in the world in terms of automo automotive and automotive tires, uh, that gives us also being the highest uh, profit margins in, uh, in these two continents, gives us the profit margin benefit and growth onto the EBITDA margins of Apollo. Uh, secondly, as far as low-cost countries are concerned, we get a foot into China. As you know, we are already the leaders in uh, India. So it gives us an opportunity to participate in the first and second fastest growing economies of the world uh, with a, a percentage share of, of the entire revenue of India coming down from 65 to 22 and uh, China going to 18%. So you really have 60% coming out of the uh, high uh, or the highest uh, markets or the largest markets in the world and you have a 40% coming out of your uh, fastest growing economies in the world. Uh, so you also get with it Serbia, which is a low-cost uh, manufacturer, which you can take products from there into CIS countries. Mm -hmm. And you get Mexico, again, being a LCC or low-cost country. Mm -hmm. uh, for manufacturing, you uh, get an entry into uh, the south part of uh, America, which is really Brazil and Argentina. Sure. And you're able to take products into uh, the U.S. also. Mm -hmm.